Poppy Playtime, a very controversial subject for most. Some people love it, while others hate it. What I'm here to talk about today is not how it's a bad game because of the developers, but rather how it makes a great horror game on its own. Because you're watching this, you've probably already seen both chapters. If not, go check them out. The first one's free, but if you wish to, you could just watch someone on YouTube play them. Because of course, there is definitely going to be spoilers for both. Many people absolutely refuse to play or support the game at all, due to controversial things that the creators have done in the past. This is very reasonable to do, of course, but the game itself is actually rather good in my opinion, and I think it deserves a play. Also look at this ugly ass thing, stupid little- What makes Poppy Playtime a good horror game in my eyes? Well, this has multiple factors to it, but to start off with, we'll start with the main antagonist from the first chapter, Huggy Wuggy. Crap, wrong. Huggy Wuggy, this giant furry thing, I don't know what it is, Sour Patch Kid that with like monkey hands. Uh, this is the main antagonist of the first chapter. Now you might think, oh, but he looks friendly, there's no way- No, shut up, it's a horror game, you absolute buffoon. We first see him in the game when we uh, go through the door after acquiring our grab pack hand and uh, we walk through the hallway and um, we see him. Y yeah, that, <laughs> that, that's, we see him, he's just standing there. Yep. Just standing there. and you open door and 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 you go through vent you go through and you do power puzzle and power pu and then you go through another vent then you get in here and you make toy and you, you, you with with toy machine and oh my god you get you do power and you fall and break your legs and and then oh my god my toy you get your toy and you get toy and yes you got your toy then you use toy and then you go down this not dangerous at all in all honesty though, this chase scene is actually done extremely well. Even though that most people would most likely be expecting him to come out of there, the fact that, well he does, still scared everyone. Yes, science, thank you very much for making my phone possible. When my 1000 plus IQ brain, I attempt to build a strong set of stairs to get back to the stairs when the stairs are closed. Then, then I do hug his luggage again and then he chases me and then, oh my god, it, oh my, oh my god. Okay, so there's like a bug in the game when you go into like the start of the vent and just stand there, he'll just like sort of stop and stare at you. Like, for to he, he just, it's, it, 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 it and then you go in the vent, and then you go down in the vent, and then... Uh, oh my god. Uh, that That's not good. And, uh...
Okay, okay, so we need to talk about this event, Chase. This is... Alright. So, up to this point, the game might have been a bit boring for some people. I understand that the puzzles aren't really the funnest to some people. I personally thought they were alright, and I enjoyed them. Uh, but that's probably because I'm really forgiving of games. I, I, you know, I like a few unscary games. Uh, but this... This chase sequence was terrifying. When an 11 foot tall Sour Patch Kid just huddles down into a vent and literally crawls at you faster than he walked. It is terrifying. And this is part of what makes Huggy Wuggy such a brilliant antagonist for this chapter. He's not just a monster trying to get you, he's literally, you can tell that he, he literally is just like, it's hard to explain, but like, you can tell that he is just, he's an animal. He's like a wild animal that, that just, like, it's weird to explain because it's just something so terrifying about him. The way that he walks towards you with, like, animalistic hunger is just terrifying. And those black eyes, those big beady eyes that are supposed to be adorable. They do the exact opposite of what the creators of him, like, intended. And he towers over you, too. Because of how long his limbs are, his arms just flail around. You can see that while he's, both while he's walking, and, like, well, pretty much everywhere, when he jumps out of the vent, when he breaks out, you can see that they just, like, they just flail around him. It's just a neat detail that I noticed. And not to mention the actual animation of him crawling in the vent itself. It looks amazing. It's some of the best animation I've seen in years. And the music in the game, the soundtracks, they are very well composed and they help, like, just bring the terror. It's very intense and it's just amazing. Poppy Playtime is just a game with a lot of love put into it. And I think it's really unfair to let the fact that the creators are, like, ri really, like, the main developers are, like, really sucky people. I think it's a bit unfair that the work of everyone else who worked on it has to be, like, just tarnished, basically. The other people that aren't even affiliated with what happened, they, they've put a lot of love into the game, and it's just a bit unfair that... I just, I'm just restating what I just said, but I think you get what I mean. This game is just very well made, and it's, it, it genuinely, I, I love this game. I think it's genuinely amazing. Also, yeah, my mic doesn't suck, I just, uh, made it suck for the video.